Welcome back to the another uh, tutorial in Jetpack Compose. So in this tutorial, we're going to talk about uh, strings. Okay, so string is a very essential concept in uh, your application, right? So um, uh, they are the building blocks for your user interface. So displaying um, text, messages, labels, and more in your Android Compose application is all done by using um, strings. Like, uh, but managing these strings is very crucial and um, especially in your application because whenever your application grows uh, you are not gonna just uh, have to manage the string for one language but you can have to manage the strings for different languages you know so um, so obviously so in, th in this article um, this tutorial that I will be focusing on will uh, we will guide I mean like I'm gonna guide you to all the essential concepts for string management in your Android uh, applic uh, Compose application project. Okay, so getting started with the string resources. So, um, okay, so yeah, this is a simple, uh, as you can see here in the figure, uh, this is a simple uh, uh, Compose uh, screen that I have uh, created that is of uh, uh, text. Okay, so. Uh, my text uh, like I have just previewed my formatted text and my preload text uh, but I can also preview my so uh, background uh, to like my text uh, I can also so preview my so background to uh, my composable screen okay so I cannot render here uh, but the interesting thing is like I just need to uh, yeah uh, so my preview my text uh, and um, my formatted text and my preload text uh, as you guys know like um, all your string resources uh, are being lying here right so this is your string resources like you declare your string resources here okay in this format and then uh, uh, okay text screen uh, so how do you access the first thing is how do you access the strings how do you access the, the access the strings? The string uh, there is a function in Compose to access the string, and that is called a string resource. Okay, so this is the function. This is the function uh, that loads the string resource. Okay, you just need to pass the string resource ID uh, of your string that you have de defined here, and just you can access it directly. It's pretty simple. Okay. Um, uh, so in this way you just retrieve the strings from the resources uh, in your compose code okay so you just need to pass the simply uh, the resource ID of a string that XML file uh, as a uh, XML file a string dot XML file as a uh, as an argument okay so um, the basic is every string displayed in your application should reside in a string resource file here so this is the basic the basic is like every string displayed in your application should reside in this string resource file so these files, uh, obviously, as we see, uh, this is the uh, the hierarchy. You have a source, you have a main. Inside the main, you have a resource like Java, which consists of all the code here, the Kotlin code, and you have the resource folder, which consists of uh, values, which consists of a string XML file, where you will all your application string resources uh, will be lying here. Okay, so this is the basic and like uh, uh, what's the scenario uh, so whenever you want to uh, like uh, define a string resource for a, uh, a different uh, uh, localization you know like uh, for example different locale then you can also define a different uh, uh, a string for uh, your Italian locale like for example if you want to declare a string resource value for uh, Italian then just you need to define values dot it and just pass the resources here okay so this is the uh, another way of uh, defining a string resource okay here so this is the way uh, so um, you, uh, similarly you can also uh, based on your requirements of your app you can also 
uh, like define the string values like uh, resource uh, like not only string uh, Italian locale but uh, like you can also not only for strings you can also define it for different like themes strings you know dimensions colors you know everything you can also define it for friends fr you know just you need to uh, English you know like uh, is the is the default one like Italian uh, French Spanish you know you just can define like uh, different st uh, string localization here in this way okay guys and uh, and what else is like um, you can also uh, do the formatting with the text like I will just uh, uh, define a format here so you just uh, can pass the uh, like uh, string formatter in this way like you have this uh, compose name that I have uh, passed the formatter in this format okay uh, you know, we can use a string formatting with for uh, with percentage s you can also define percentage d for integers f for floats but for the moment I'm just passing string uh, formatters and so this will en enhance your string by incorporating placeholders for dynamic content okay this is ex especially done for dynamic content okay so uh, whenever your compose uh, like name is dynamic like you just name is passed from as a value here okay then you just can do the formatting string in, in this way okay uh, tall as you can see here it's just uh, a dynamic content string formatting is being done here right okay let's go back to ninja and uh, okay so similarly we can also do plurals so how do you handle plurals plurals are like for example when you handle the quantities gracefully with quantity uh, strings right you can define different string variation for singular and plural cases like for example if we have a singular cases and this is a plural case for example if one item is found then this is one if there is other then you have a uh, like this uh, the list of other items found okay so you can just pass on the value here like you have a plural this is a there is a function name called a plural string resource you can load a plural resources here okay just load your items found and then pass the count here and um, this is the one is one item found so you can just write item count five uh, you have a this five items found here okay so uh, this is a preview but in the real application when you run it you will have a five items found here okay so this is also uh, another interesting uh, way of handling uh, um, quantities gracefully with the quantity strings okay so uh, there are also some pro tips for mastering strings like maintainability you can organize your strings locally group related strings in a separate resource files use uh, a clear and descriptive descriptive name for your string resources uh, and you can also use in internationalization like i right and uh, always considering support a multiple language like as i told you already you can support multiple languages like italian english like this is default is english italian you can have other other languages like french you know a German you know and then you can create a separate string resources file for each language and uh, leverage the system local uh, locale to display the appropriate strings okay so this is how it is done here and so there are some advanced techniques for flexibility flexibility like uh, resources references for situations when the string resource ID is dynamic use a uh, local context dot current resources dot get string okay uh, resource id so this retrieves the string based on the current context okay you can also have a local local uh, context yeah you can use this local contents uh, text dot uh, you can just uh, define it one second guys uh, yeah you can use this local context uh, current you can use this local current context or resources uh, get string and resource id uh, yeah this is the way how to handle the uh, like um, the scenarios where your uh, for situations when the string resource id is dynamic when there is a dynamic uh, resource id okay dynamic resource id 
okay so you can use is this way and you can also have a custom string providers for complex scenarios like consider creating custom string providers uh, these are classes responsible for fetching strings based on your app logic or data this approach offers greater flexibility and maintainability all right guys so yeah i have um, uh, overall summarized all the interesting uh, basic uh, and advanced uh, uh best practices that you need to follow while handling strings and uh, uh, well organized strings not only improve the user experience but also make your code easier to maintain and extend uh, in it in the future okay so by by effectively managing strings with all these techniques you are going to ensure your compose app deliver clear dynamic and user friendly experiences so embrace these best practices and uh, keep your strings in our top shape and uh, please do subscribe me guys and if you subscribe me to it's, it's gonna help me to create more other interesting tutorials like this one guys and please do share if you have any questions just comment down below and i will catch you up in the next lecture guys and thank you guys